What is up, Epic Gamers? I am back with another Sonic Adventure 2 video. This time we got the A-Rank Guide for Cannon's Core, which many of you have asked for. And if you're new to this channel, I post tons of Sonic Adventure content from funny videos, challenges, fun facts, and tips and tricks just like this one. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want more Sonic Adventure content. Kicking things off with missions one, four, and five, the score to beat for all three of these is 29,000 points, which sounds like a lot, but you're gonna get about 90% of that during the Eggman and Tails sections and it doesn't require any kind of crazy trick, so you'll be just fine. But first, a few general tips for the level. First of all, if you die on this level, do not restart like you normally would, because on Cannon's Core, you actually keep your score upon death. It'll just go back to whatever it was when you first switched to a new character. So each time you swap characters, it's sort of like a checkpoint. That alone makes things much easier. Speaking of checkpoints, there's a single checkpoint during Eggman's section that I recommend skipping. This is because if you grab it, you'll respawn there, but your score still reverts back to whatever it was when you first started that part of the level. And then you'll miss out on all the points that you earned before the checkpoint. So I recommend just skipping it. If you die, you'll start back at the beginning of Eggman's section of the level, so there's not much to replay. So back to missions 1, 4, and 5. As I said earlier, you're going to get a large chunk of the points during the Tails and Eggman sections of the level. You don't need to go out of your way to min-max every possible combo chain either. Just play the level as you normally would, making sure to get as many of the easy combos as you can, especially on these robots with the multiple bombs that you can target. These guys are worth up to 1500 points on their own. For the more annoying enemies like the shield guys or the artificial chaos enemies, you can just take care of them separately and don't worry about trying to work them into a combo. This level is pretty generous with the points, so you don't have to stress about every little combo, just focus on the easy ones. After the Eggman and Tails part, you'll probably have around 20,000 points, but again, you do have a lot of room for error, so I'd say as long as you have a minimum of like 17,000 points, you're on the right track for the A rank. For the Rouge and Knuckles part, there's not too much you can do to bump up your score, so go through these quickly and take out as many enemies as you see along the way. I'll share one cool trick you can do with Knuckles, however. If you walk into this corner here, making sure you're facing the door, you can actually clip out of bounds and skip this entire part by gliding to the end. It's a little tricky to get this move down, and it's not really something that I can explain. You just have to do it a few times and sort of get a feel for it. The only advice I can give is to make sure that you're moving forward towards the door and not facing the wall to your right. Once you're out of bounds, jump and start gliding away from the wall until the camera catches up with you then start gliding in this direction towards those lasers. Eventually, the level will pop back in just as if you were playing Sonic Frontiers, and from here, you clip back into the ceiling and hit the butt. Of course, this isn't really necessary. You'll save some time if you get the out-of-bounds clip fast enough, but that's really about it. It's just kind of a neat party trick, so I had to include it in the video. One last thing I should mention, Knuckles has an air necklace upgrade you can get, which allows him to breathe underwater. You can find this in Aquatic Mine. Set the water to the lowest point, and then go down this shaft with a small opening. Make your way to the end of this tunnel, and you'll find the air necklace. It's not required to beat this level, but it makes things easier. Without it, you have to rely on air bubbles to avoid drowning. During Sonic's part, we can make a few points here as well, and do another really cool trick. First, let me talk about this artificial chaos though, as a lot of people struggle with him. The easiest way to take care of him is to use the Magic Hands ability, which you can get back in City Escape after getting the Bounce Bracelet and the Flame Ring. You can stand at the edge here and Magic Hands him without ever needing to jump over the pit. If the Magic Hands killed your family and you just refused to use them, I recommend Spin Dashing and jumping behind him, then homing attacking him from behind to minimize the risk of him catching you in the air. After you take out the next group of enemies, there's a very useful trick that you can do with the time switch in this room. If you spin dash away from the time switch after activating it, and you get far enough away from it quickly, the time will permanently be frozen. This is because the switch unloads when you get far enough away from it, which causes time to stay frozen. This has some pretty useful applications, such as making this golden beetle stay in place so we can easily kill him for another thousand points. It helps getting the A rank on time-based missions easier since the clock is no longer going. We can spin dash and jump up to the Lost Child mission 3 and skip all the required steps to get there normally. And for mission 5, we can take out some more enemies on the way to the gold ring for some extra points. This trick isn't too hard to pull off either, you just need to get far enough away from the switch after activating it, so just make sure you don't spin dash onto these floating boxes, and you should be good to go. For mission 2, you have 3 minutes and 30 seconds to collect 100 rings. Unfortunately, you will be collecting these during the Tails and Eggman section, which happens to be the easiest sections to take damage and then lose all your rings. And there are no invisible or hidden stashes of rings either. But the important thing to remember is 3 minutes is actually a lot of time, especially considering you have time stop switches, which essentially extends the actual time you have to get the A rank. So just follow along the path I'm taking here and take things nice and slow. Really abuse those time stop switches along the way and just be careful not to take any damage. 
Also, make sure you collect every single ring along this path, otherwise you're going to have to play more of the Eggman level and risk losing rings. You're going to have exactly 100 rings before the part where you have to jump down and dodge all the lasers and artificial chaoses, and you definitely don't want to do that with the fear of losing your rings and losing your A rank. During Eggman's parts, there are two parts specifically you want to watch out for. The first is when you see these two artificial chaos enemies side by side. You want to make sure that you run between them and then get behind them so they don't attack you. But make sure you kill them quickly because they will turn around for their second attack. And the next part you want to watch out for is after this pulley here, there's going to be three artificial chaos enemies that will fly by and shoot you. Make sure you prioritize not getting shot by these enemies. Let them pass before grabbing the rings. Remember, there's a time stop switch in this room, so you have plenty of time. The key to mission two is taking it slow and being careful. You're never gonna fail this level because you did it too slowly. As you can see from my run, I was taking my sweet time and still ended up with almost two minutes to spare. The only way you're gonna fail this is if you take damage and then lose your ring, so just be very careful and you'll be fine. One last tip, in this room with the floating boxes, you can stand on the edges where the boxes spawn. This comes in handy during the hard mode where there's only one box that will take you up to where you need to go. It can also come in handy for mission 2 if you're trying not to lose your rings. Finally, mission 3 gives you a very generous 7 minutes and 30 seconds, but this one is a little more complicated if you're not going to cheese it with the sonic time freezing trick. First, play through Tails' part like you normally would. During Eggman's part, after the checkpoint you'll see a door across this big pit. You're supposed to activate the time stop switch in the previous room, then jump on that platform in the middle while time is still frozen before it drops. But you can also just stand on this ledge and then fly across from here. So pick whichever is easiest for you. I do recommend getting this checkpoint this time since score doesn't matter for this one, and you only have one chance to make it across here. Once you make it across, shoot down the boxes and there's a Mystic Melody statue that appears to do nothing but spawn a shield, but this actually opens up a door to the left of where Rouge spawns during her part of the level. Inside that hall is another Mystic Melody statue that again appears to only spawn a shield, but it also spawns platforms that will appear during Knuckles' part, and those platforms lead to, you guessed it, another Mystic Melody statue that appears to only spawn a shield. But this actually spawns a set of rings during Sonic's part that he can lightspeed dash up to to access the room with the Lost Chow. Once again, if you use the time stop trick that I explained earlier, you can skip all of this and just spin dash jump to the Lost Chow because he's still there whether you use the Mystic Melody statues or not. So pick whichever method sounds more fun to you. Either way, you should have plenty of time to spare for the A rank. And that's it for this video gamers, if you have any more questions or advice to share, feel free to leave in the comments down below. Even if you don't have a question, leave me a comment anyway to help boost the video. Tell me what your favorite pop tart flavor is, and if you say unfrosted strawberry, you can get the hell off my channel right now because the best flavor is obviously the Eggo waffle ones. And once again, if you're new to the channel, I am posting tons of Sonic Adventure content and I stream right here to YouTube, so make sure you subscribe for some more epic Sonic Adventure videos. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay epic gamers. Knuckles has an air necklace upgrade you can get, which allows him to breathe underwater. You can find this in Aquatic Mine. Set the water to the lowest point, and then go down this shaft with a small opening. Make your way to the end of this tunnel, and you'll find the air necklace. It's not required to beat this level, but it makes things easier. Without it, you have to rely on air bubbles to avoid drowning.